Hello and welcome back to 25 Days of Tech It. In this episode, we are we have a couple things that I wanna get accomplished. One of which is preparing to go to the moon, and the other is <coughs> is getting this interdiction matrix up and running. Maybe testing out a force field projector. But in order to do that, we need more diamonds, which I want to get the fortune pick for because I've um, found like I don't know how many diamond veins in a cave recently. So I wanted to. Uh, why can I delete this? There we go. 15 levels to rename it. What are we going to name this one? Hmm. Gotta think of a good name for a musket. I don't know. Call it like headshot. Because we shoot him dead. Sounds like a good thing to me. Alright, so what I'm thinking is... Start the episode... By making another grinder. Or maybe I'll do that off camera, actually. That's nothing you guys haven't seen already. Um... We need more steel. In order to get more steel... We need to get more iron. Because I'm out of iron. Which, luckily enough, the ore processing chamber has a ton of iron. How are you doing? Probably could use some energy. I'll put 15 in. Why not? Why not put 15 in? This thing's got so much work to do, I might as well keep doing its work. Um, how are you looking? Full. You're empty, I assume. And I don't have... You're gonna have to run on nine pieces this time. And you only got two logs from that, that last ten. Hmm. Slacking. So we're gonna go to the shed. We have 40 pieces here. We'll go drop one of those off, we have glass. Um, we do have steel stuff in there. Really, I'm sure we'll need more invar soon. Alright. Um, that's all we really needed for the steel. Let's go, uh, our buckets and put that last piece of charcoal into the furnace here. Not furnace, but uh, yeah. There we go. Now, up here, put the sludge away. So much sludge. Such a good thing to have all this sludge. Um, what do we got in here? Bunch of stuff. This thing's still pumping away on copper. I mean, although it, of course it is, I just filled it up like a couple seconds ago. Oh, we do have some steel here. Steel here. We got our diamond, redstone. Oh, I meant to bring coal. Well, I have coal. I don't have a lot of coal, but I have coal. But 
see if I can remember this off the top of my head. Steel plate. No. Diamond there. Oh, no. Redstone, 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 redstone. Yep, I did remember it off the top of my head. Look at me. Remembering things. Let's see if we can go give this to the, uh, Fortron capacitor and see if we can get it to actually reach the interdiction matrix. I don't know if this is the Fortron generation room. Range is 31. I doubt that it reaches this yet. Yeah, it's getting no power. Well, darn it. We need this thing to get power. And as you can tell, I'm still, you know, just getting worse and worse with this sickness. So I'm probably going to end up, you know, just dying or something like that. That's what happens when you get sick, right? just die like, without any sort of warning whatsoever just wake up one morning head happens right that's what happens when you get sick there we go we just wasted an entire stack of coal and only got 19 pieces of steel that seems like a totally fair trade I don't know if we can make coal. Like, I know we can make charcoal, but we want just normal coal. Charcoal won't work for steel. Don't ask me why. I just know that it won't. I've tried it before. Let's see if we can just make coal. So I can convert coal ore into coal, which no. <laughs> so the only way to get coal is to use coal. Or I mean, I don't care. You know, we don't care about coal. I have another stack in here. I have something like two stacks of it, or two stacks of the ore that I've gotten from the Nether <laughs> over here the ore processing chamber to get it. like two stacks almost we've got all sorts of ores just zooming all around in there Which reminds me that we gotta get the uh, new quarry up and running which means we need more pipes do I have just redstone pipes? No. A lot of redstone pipes. Let's make two. Well, I say two more. That could be eight more. And we're just about full on space. Why do I have just two random oak logs on me? That's strange. I don't know why I have those. Throw that in there too. Trying to make enough room for. I want these. I should have enough room for it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, we have enough room. Good. Each engine takes four buckets to fill. So, there's that, and um, these aren't actually connected at the moment, that's why I needed this. There's something else that needed a redstone pipe to be connected, but uh, I don't, I can't actually even fill these up, except I 
about them on hi. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. I know I've got a bunch of redstone torches. I'm just really lazy and don't feel like going and getting them. We get to watch, get to watch, you know, Billy over there just tap everything to death. So let me just. That's the sound of the laser beam there. Um. Now, what else were we doing? Redstone pipe. That's it. This is where it was missing. Sure that it won't fill those up just yet. We probably have some time. So the pipes in here. Have this focus matrix and get stuck in between the chest and the wall or cracking bench actually. This is done with my steel. So expensive, but we need it. Run, squeeze through, there we go. So let's look at the uh, force field projector. So we need another battery, diamond, and three of the matrices. Wait, do we need two pieces of? Right. That's perfect, actually. We need two pieces of steel. That's exactly how much steel I have left from, you know, everything. Where's our tin? Tin. Got the redstone. We need this piece of coal to make a battery. Can I remember if it's this way or if it's the other way around? There we go. Battery. Didn't need to close that. Steel, steel. Those things. That. Now look at it. We've got a force field projector. I wish I could like determine where the center of alpha ink is. I'm just going to plop it down like right here. Working. I don't know what these things mean. Look at it, it's getting power. Now shoot your beam into the air and make the force field. Do it. I want to see the beam. I just imagine this thing's just gonna like shoot a blue beam up into space and then it's gonna like form a dome around Alpha Inc. Of course, it wants a hundred joules, which it's got. I assume kg means kilojoules, which means that it has twenty hundred, I mean twenty thousand, no, two thousand joules. Why is it not protecting its beam? I don't know. I don't know how these things work. We're looking for a crafting table. I mean. I could have sworn I put one in every room. At least I meant to. The rest of these for now can be turned into these scale modules. Maybe 34 will be enough to uh, let's put this in the threes. Oh look at it. It's reaching the uh, 
Prediction matrix. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. We'll put another 12 into here. Now it's covering 22 blocks. Hmm, um, let me put those in there. Shoot your beam out. I put these into here, maybe. No. There. No. Where is the force field? I guess we'll figure that out in the future. So, by the looks of this, this thing is going to constantly want power. Oh, that's not going to be, you know, obnoxious. I built you. And you can't even kill me. You're not set to those properties. Need more water to fill up the uh, thing there. Also, I, I put down the uh, oxygen collector. I'm entering the uh, scanning area. It's gonna keep telling me that forever now. Which isn't, you know, gonna be totally obnoxious or anything. Um, water, that's what we were after. We could only could take two buckets. We will take three, maybe. So, looks like these things are going to just constantly need power, which means that this thing is going to need energy. And now we gotta go sleep again. We gotta sleep, or maybe we could watch that thing work. Thinking that all of my snowmen died. Cause I've only seen like three and I had like ten. So I don't even know which ones died and which ones didn't die. I guess that's up I can I get out of the door here. There we go. the scanning area, range, whatever. I'm turning you off for now. You can get filled up with jewels. And until I figure out how to use you, you're also getting turned off for now. All these machines that we just don't know how to use. Alright. What are we going to do now? We're going to grab a bunch of copper over here. We have this oxygen collector, but it, it says status, not enough power. So, um, yeah, we need to fix the uh, not enough power issue. We, need, we also need to fix our lack of heavy duty plating issue. Maybe we should go start smelting up some more copper. Probably some tin too. Tin and var. Um, let's go grab some copper dust from over here. We'll probably finish off this episode once we build our rock into space. So it's smashing up some silver now. So let's go throw this stuff into the uh, furnaces. 
I haven't figured out yet if a powered furnace cooks things better than a normal furnace, or if it just absolutely doesn't matter. My initial thought would be it just doesn't matter. But I could be very, very much wrong with that. I just tried to put pulverized tin into this copper. Alright, so let's do this tier one rocket. So we need is that eight, right? Yeah. And we've already got one. So if we do how many are we gonna be able to how many do we get for each time we do this? Apparently none. We get two, so we want to do this four times, right? We can't even do it four times, we can only do it twice. Alright. Now we can do it the rest of the times. And then we also need to make another uh, steam engine. Which I did not bring the required materials for. Back to the base. We will pick up our machine parts for the rocket. You guys ready for this? This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Not really, because I only have six of these. Why do I only have six? I guess I have some really faulty math. We need more tin. The moment we've all been waiting for has been delayed. Now we can go do it. Back up the hill, jump over, and back into here. I missed the room. Alright, now we can do this. Tier one rocket. Oh, we probably could have done that or that or that. Well, that'll be something we can think about in future times we build the rocket. Can I edit the rocket by like putting the rocket back in here? No. I can put the rocket up there. Let's see if we can add storage space like that. Although at the moment, we don't know what's up in space. I already have just. So let's see if we can add storage space. Nope. Oh well. We don't really need it, I guess. Look at, we're going to store an entire rocket ship this chest. Just a whole rocket we put right in that chest. And I needed the silver coil things. Those there and there. Copper bars across the top. And we got ourselves another steam engine. Throw all the materials back into here that we don't need. Oops. Did not want to do that. Throw the tin back, lead back in there. Throw all this crap back in here. 
Yeah, that's everything. Three, four buckets. Now, see, I don't know how to put the, the oxygen into something. I don't know if we want to power this up just yet. Because what if it uses the power but doesn't store anything? So, like, if we go back to oxygen, we have the compressor, bubble distributor, distributor, sorry, sealer and detector. We probably want the compressor, I would assume to put the oxygen into the tanks but I could be wrong it might be the bubble distributor although I don't know what an oxygen bubble distributor would do but um I guess that's all stuff for next episode so as usual, thanks for watching this episode of 25 Days of Hecate, and I'll see you guys around for the next episode.